This tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide on how to fill out the Aerodynamics Lift module. It can happen that you might feel stuck in a circular pattern in the Aerodynamics module. For example, the horizontal tail, downwash, downwash gradient, you'll need the downwash gradient due to power. So if you use the go to button here, you'll see that this variable to calculate the downwash gradient due to power, the variable needs the downwash gradient power off. So using that, you go to another module again, and here you can see it relies on that same power again. So how to fill out the aerodynamics lift module? Step one, calculate lift gradient, zero angle of attack lift, and zero lift angle of attack and downwash modules. We're going to do this for all lifting services, and we start with the wing. Let's fast forward here. After the wing, we'll do the horizontal tail as well. For the horizontal tail, note that the downwash gradient misses the downwash gradient due to power. For now, we can simply hit calculate to calculate the power off coefficients. Then let's do the vertical tail. Use the go to buttons where necessary. Here, the go to button for the horizontal tail aerodynamic center is used. The vertical tail is similar as the horizontal tail. For now, only calculate the power off coefficients. Last is the pylon for this airplane. Use the go to button for the wing aerodynamic center here as well and complete the remaining inputs. Step two, complete the aerodynamic center module for lifting services. The wing and horizontal tail aerodynamic center have been calculated before. The vertical tail and pylon simply require a hit of the calculate button. Step three, calculate the dynamic pressure ratio module. Use the go to button to calculate the zero lift drag coefficient. Fill out the missing information and use suggested values where applicable. We do not need the wing lift for now, as we're only interested in the zero lift drag coefficient. Go back and hit calculate to calculate the power off dynamic pressures. The power effects will be calculated in step four. First, we will further define the propeller power and geometry to calculate the, the propeller gradient and thrust coefficients. These are used to calculate the downwash and upwash, as well as the normal force. Then we calculate the immersed area for the applicable lifting surfaces. Finally, we will calculate the power effects on lift. Note that even though the angle of attack at maximum lift is missing, we can still calculate the remaining parameters. Step five, calculate aircraft lift gradient and zero angle of attack lift. These modules are very easy now, as all parameters are already defined in the other modules. Simply hit calculate and AAA will do the rest. Step six is to complete the linear lift for all the lifting surfaces, starting with the wing. For the horizontal tail, use the go to buttons to calculate the remaining parameters. Assume a zero deflection for the elevator and a zero deflection for the elevator tap for now. These will be updated later in the program. The vertical tail will be similar as the horizontal tail. Also assume a zero rudder deflection for now. Step seven, calculate the airplane lift coefficient and angle of attack. The aerodynamics module is now in a state that we can calculate the lift coefficient at any angle of attack. Simply hit calculate to calculate the lift coefficient for the current angle of attack. This concludes the aerodynamics lift tutorial you'll hopefully find yourself not stuck in a loop as before.